Hey, this is Brian Jones from eLearning Art, and today I just wanted to show you how I created uh, one of the display board templates with the three different views. Um, I had done a blog post about this earlier and just wanted to go through some of the details. So let's go ahead and take a look at one of these screens, and you'll see I have the selection and visibility pane open over here, um, and I can hide certain elements. But basically, just wanted to show you um, that what the elements are on the screen. I have the person, I have the chalkboard. I have the wall and the floor and then this baseboard. Um, so why don't I go ahead and just get started uh, from scratch and since it's the biggest component let's start with the wall. Um, what I would do here is I would insert a shape and what we have here is actually just a fill. So if I go to format shape and I go to picture or texture fill and then I'm going to uh, insert from file and I have a number of different uh, repeat textures here. I have another lesson on how to use repeat textures. Uh, but you'll see here I have red brick. If I double click that, and you'll see the perspective is a little bit off here. I want to tile it as a picture. And now I can control um, some of the scale here so to get the brick to be the right size. So I can do however I want. Let's just try you know, 60 and 60% and see how that looks. Yeah, that's not bad. It might not be quite right. Um, but uh, then I can control where that is. You see it's rectangle 2 there. I might want to rename that, but I kind of move that to um, back there. And there we are. Now this here is also just another rectangle, the baseboard, so I would just draw a rectangle. And I'm not exactly sure what the um, features are on this one, but uh, let me just go ahead and try to recreate it. I'm going to format the shape and the same thing, you could do a color, and actually the, the more important thing is the 3D format. And I believe that um, I had some sort of bevel on it, so let's put that bevel there, and uh, maybe it's a little bit different than that. But let's go to the fill, and uh, let's go to picture or texture fill, and instead of the brick, this time I think I had concrete there. And that looks pretty close. Get rid of that line color, so no line. And uh, you know, that's not quite right with 3D format. I think maybe I had a six there, and maybe six here too. Let's see if that does something for us. And you can play around with those settings, but essentially that you know gives you a similar look to that. And the same thing, you can control the, the layering there as well. Now, the, um, the floor doesn't work quite as well with the texture repeat because you'll see the perspective, the lines are kind of moving towards the vanishing point. Um, so I actually insert that um, as a picture that was created in uh, in Photoshop. So let me show you how that looks. I would just go to insert picture. And this one's just part of the uh, baseboard floor wall. Uh, so I go to floor. See, so I have a bunch of different things. And, you know, there's the, the dark floor. And, uh, you know, then you can drop that behind uh, the wall wherever you want. And let's delete this old one. Alright, and then you can align it however you want, and that's how you get that look there. And then you can kind of control it up and down if you want. Now, um, before too much time passes here, you know, this, this person is, is just a person image, and this is a pre-built asset as well, which is um, uh, which is just the chalkboard. But what you're going to do then in these other perspectives, you're going to do the same thing, but you might want to make the bricks bigger here. And uh, same thing, you'll make the chalkboard bigger. And uh, and then on this last view, you're just, the same thing, you're just inserting the chalkboard and scaling it up so that it takes up almost the whole screen. And that way you can really fill up the screen with your content. And sometimes with the perspective, it's helpful to either look over um, in this the, the slide view over here, or the other thing you can do is you can put it into the slide sorter view and that gives you some sense of what the perspective is. Anyways, I just wanted to show you how you can uh, use these various assets to create the, the, the different display board views um, and I can build some other lessons on how some of the other ones are built too, but uh, it's just uh, separate assets built together, scaled slightly differently and, um, and that's the basics of it. You can do that for a number of different display boards or screens. Hope you found that useful. Thanks so much for your time. Have a good day.